Hello, 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 my fellow game warriors. My name is Game Warrior, and right now, guys, um, today you are going to be viewing a hard point um, gameplay on the Block Ops 2 map slums. Now, yesterday, guys, you viewed a domination gameplay on this map, and I uh, try to space out um, my when I'm going to upload a map. Um, that way I don't upload it again for two or three times because Black Ops 2 has a lot of maps for me to offer to show you guys. Um, but personally, Slums is probably going to be my favorite map in Black Ops 2. So, uh, and plus it's a pretty good gameplay, so enjoy this. Um, in yesterday's video, guys, I talked about the best game type to level up in Black Ops 2. And as you can tell by the title of this video, this video is going to be me covering basically the best initial class and um, pretty class combination to use to level up quickly in Black Ops 2. So obviously guys, um, it's going to be um, basically starting perks and a weapon um, that you unlock fairly quickly in the game. So uh, let's get started. Um, first off though, I do want to say that I'm coming tomorrow, Sunday, um, November 18th, I am going to be uploading my first uh, Black Ops 2 Top Plays of the Week. And it's going to be a uh, definitely a specific uh, top plays because it's going to be top five plays funny um, Black Ops 2 moments so far. Um, probably next week's going to be amazing kills, and after that we'll just have to see. Uh, so be sure to subscribe to come back to see that tomorrow, uh, as well as uh, send in your own top play clips. Maybe make the one tomorrow, or possibly make the one um, next week, or from then on. Remember, top plays of the week doesn't necessarily mean of this week. So, you know, that's it for now, so let's get into um, the best creative class combinations. First off, I would like to say that in the past Call of Duties, there has been a gun that has stood head and shoulders um, above the rest of the guns. In World at War, it was the MP40. In Call of Duty Modern Warfare, um, it probably would have been um, something such as the AK, or possibly, I think, the MP5K uh, or MP5 back in that game. In Modern Warfare 2 and Modern Warfare 3, you know, you can say your own guns. Black Ops, um, obviously the Galil, Modern Warfare 3, the PP90M1. But in Black Ops 2, um, so far from what I have saw, there is not really a gun that stands head and shoulders um, above uh, the rest of them out there. But I do want to say um, there are a few guns that you unlock early on that are definitely um, very good weapons of choice. First off, um, the gun that I am using in this gameplay, as you can see, is um, the Vector, I believe, K-10. It is a submachine gun you unlock very early on in the game. I believe maybe possibly around level 15 or 20. And it is personally, as of now, my favorite submachine gun in the game. And it's an uh, extra bonus because you unlock it very early on. Now, when I did say um, Black Ops 2 doesn't really have a gun that stands head and shoulders above the rest. That is pretty much true. Um, they seem, David Von Der Haar and his team, um, seemed really um, specific in making this game as balanced as possible. You know, they've said repeatedly they're going to nerf guns that are overpowered, um, you know, buff guns up that are a little bit underpowered compared to the rest. And so far, um, they seem to be doing a pretty darn good job um, without even having to do anything. The guns are pretty much evenly matched. Um, it's the same things as usual. If one gun has a higher damage rate, it'll have a little bit less of a fire rate, or vice versa. And, you know, guns with less damage, more firepower. It takes more bullets to kill, but it shoots a little bit faster. And the guns seem to be um, pretty evenly matched. However, you know, I say the Vector um, is my favorite of the submachine guns. Um, just, you know, that's personal taste, it's the way it aims, it's the way... There's not a whole lot of recoil, especially when you have the, basically, red dot sight and suppressor attachment on there, um, to stay off the mini-map. Um, you know, it just works out really well. Now, where there is no gun that stands head and shoulders above the rest, there are certain gun types. You know, there's one gun type that is better than the rest, and that is the sub-machine gun class. Now, the submachine gun in this game is definitely the best type to use. Sure, there are certain maps to where the assault rifle is better, but this game, there are mainly small to medium-sized maps. You know, there are a few places, maps and places, where the sniper, you know, is good, where the assault rifle is good, where the shotgun is good, but the vast majority of these maps are sub-machine gun size maps. And not only that, even the really large maps, um, such as, I believe, Turbine, it's called, with the windmills in it, um, 
sure, um, it is definitely, you know, a big map. It's longer range maps. So you would think the submachine guns are, would be at a disadvantage. However, not the case. I mean, it's not the case because in Black Ops 2 compared to the other Call of Duties, when you are playing an objective type game mode, which I believe the majority of people are playing some type of objective type game mode, kill confirm, um, search and destroy, domination, hard point, you know, the majority of people are playing that game type. There is probably more people in Team Deathmatch than any one of the other types, but domination and kill and uh, kill confirmed and hard point combined far out total Team Deathmatch. So I'm speaking to the vast majority of you. The submachine gun is best for objective gameplay. And why is that? Because people are going to be rushing at the flag, you know, or rushing at you to get your tag or something else. Um, close range combat, around the corner combat, patrolling an area such as a flag. The submachine gun is best because in objective based gameplay, it tends to be more close quarters combat. So the submachine gun class is definitely the best. Um, from those, the shotgun is probably the worst, just because the sniper, you can provide support for your team. An assault rifle is going back to where we saw it would be um, back in um, World at War, Modern Warfare 1, and Modern Warfare 2 days, to where the assault rifle is now more of a um, secondary uh, weapon compared to the submachine gun. Um, in Modern Warfare 3, you know, that wasn't the case. The assault rifles kind of um, basically owned it all. Heck, in Modern Warfare 2, um, they did a really good job. But now it's the assault rifles or second cousin basically to um, the submachine gun classes. So if you're going to be running in this game, if you're going to want to level up, definitely use a submachine gun. Um, to level up quickly, I strongly suggest I'm um, using a submachine gun with a silencer attachment. Sure, you uh, do lose some range, um, but you know it makes up for it for not being on the mini map. For perks, I suggest using. Um, it's more of a personal preference. I prefer lightweight. You know, but I prefer lightweight. There was a big pause there. Um, if I prefer lightweight, but if you do, I want hardline in order to get your kill streaks faster, such as a UAV and so on. Um, I strongly suggest that. You know, the second perk doesn't really matter. There's nothing I'm um, really superior there. And since I do recommend you guys play objective-based gameplay, such as hardpoint, kill confirmed, or domination, um. Extreme conditioning is definitely the best perk in the third perk category just because you get to the objective um, as fast as basically humanly possible. So guys, um, that's it. This little breakdown. Just remember key points from this. Just be sure to use the submachine gun. The Vector um, is my personal favorite. It is one of the earliest submachine guns that you unlock. Um, so it's the best one to use. Pop on a silencer. Possibly um, a red dot side along with that and you're good to go. Good so that's basically it for this um, little um, quick informational video. My name is a Game Warrior. If you did enjoy this video, be sure to leave it a like, comment, and subscribe to see my Block Ops 2 um, top 5 funny moments um, coming out tomorrow. Anyways guys, my name is a Game Warrior. Have a good day.